We did three worked examples before and we're gonna go press in a little further into the exercise now. You will notice I skipped a bunch of questions when I assigned those questions earlier in exercise 1E and that's because I wanted to cover with you what we're about to do now. So have a look at this particular diagram. Find the shaded area. You've been told that this is the function y equals x squared and then the sketch is provided. So I'm being gracious and merciful. I'm providing you the sketch. You don't need to redraw this, okay? Um, but, I mean, unfortunately, you don't have the drawing yourself. So if you want to do a rough version of this, you don't have to think about it too hard, but you do need to be able to see this in front of you, okay? Now, how do we find this shaded area? There's two ways to approach this. and I'm going to show you both of them. Um, but first, let's have a think about how would you tackle this and why is it different to the questions we were looking at earlier? Now, um, you might remember when we first introduced this, we talked about areas under curves. This is not an area under a curve. It's an area above a curve. Now, we've seen that you can do areas above curves if they are beneath the axis, but this one is not. This one in its entirety is above the axis, so what do we do with this thing, okay? Now, like I said, there's two ways to go about it. What can we do using the knowledge that we already possess? Well, because the knowledge we already possess is to do with areas under curves, if I were to integrate this particular y equals x squared in between the relevant boundaries, I would get an area beneath this orange spot here. So the first question I want to ask is, well, what are the boundaries, right? What are the appropriate boundaries here? Where do I want to start and where do I want to end? I'm looking for x values here, right? Here and here. Can you tell me what those are? Can you, is my screen good enough resolution for you guys to read off? Can you tell me what the boundaries should be? Nice one, Moe gets in first, fantastic. Not that speed is the thing that's most important, but I am still impressed nonetheless. So I'm going from zero to four, and admittedly, I mean, the diagram tells you it's zero anyway. So <clears throat> if I integrated, I'm just gonna write this at the top here. If I integrated from zero to four and took this function, x squared, right? What area would that give us? It would give us an area, I just wouldn't give us this particular orange one, okay? I'll show you the area we would get. It would be underneath the curve bounded between zero and four, so it would be this guy, right? Now, this area here is not the one I'm after, but it is closely related to the one that I'm after. Can you see what, how I could take this blue area, this one that I'm shading, cross-hatching in now, how I could take this guy and use it to work out the orange one. Does anyone want to make any suggestions in the chat? What could I do with this? Yeah, good, you're on the, you're on the right track. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Yeah, you, good corrections for yourself there, Jason. So there's a, there's a big rectangle that goes all the way around this, right? Let me draw it in a big, bold color. So here in red, all the way on the left and right, top and, oh, that was the bottom, bottom and top, okay? So this red rectangle here, right? If I sub work out what that is and then subtract the blue area, exactly right, Trisha, I will get the orange area that I'm after. So in other words, the area would be equal to, well, what is that, by the way? Um, the uh, red rectangle, what are its dimensions? We already know its width, right? It goes from zero to four, so it's width is 14. Um, can you read off of my graph, of my axes? Can you use the scale? What's the height going to be? Yeah, nicely done, Abby. So 16 from 0 to 16 there, right? So when I'm working out my area here, I'm gonna say area equals 16 times four, that's the rectangle, and then I'm going to subtract this integral, and that will give me the answer. Let's just give this a go and see how we turn out. This is going to be 64, take away, and we can do this integral. This is the part that we're quite good at, right? This is gonna be x cubed on three, integrals increase indices uh, from naught to four. Just watch out for that minus sign out the front. 64, take away, let's start evaluating now. Um, four cubed happens to also be 64 uh, over three, and then you take away zero. Okay, so 64, take away 64 over three. You might be able to put that in your calculator. I'm pretty sure it'll be 128 over three. So therefore, the area is 128 over three units squared. Okay, so this is a way that we can evaluate this area. It's kind of indirect. We worked out the area by working out what the area isn't and then doing a bit of subtraction, um, but it works fine and it uses all of the knowledge that we've already developed. Okay, so I'm gonna call this guy method one. 
This is, um, I guess you could call it by subtraction. So we worked out the area under the curve, which we are very good at doing, but we worked out that that area isn't the one we want. We need to subtract that from this rectangle.